Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use HCAPTCHA. Adding a CAPTCHA to your forms is a great way of drastically cutting down the number of spam submissions you may receive. There are a few different versions of this, one of them being HCAPTCHA. HCAPTCHA is a great alternative to options like Google's reCAPTCHA. This independent service offers top-tier security for your site and prioritizes your privacy by minimizing data collection and retention. With that said, let's get right to it. To get started, go to the Settings page in WP Forms and click on the CAPTCHA tab. Here you'll see four different options, HCAPTCHA, reCAPTCHA, Turnstile, and None. When you click on the HCAPTCHA icon, you'll see some additional settings appear below. Site Key, Secret Key, Fail Message, and No Conflict Mode. You'll need to generate a set of keys in your HCAPTCHA account to paste them into the fields in WP Forms, so open a new tab and log into your HCAPTCHA account. Once you've logged in, click on the Add Site button on the upper right corner. On the next page, you can add a specific name for this key in the Basic Info section. This name is for internal use only and won't be seen by anyone else. Under the Domain section, write in the URL of each website you'll be activating HCAPTCHA on and click on the plus icon to add it to the list. In the next section called HCAPTCHA Behavior, you'll need to choose the default CAPTCHA behavior. Always Challenge will be the default selection, but if you have an enterprise account with HCAPTCHA, you can select either of the two remaining modes, Passive or 99.9% .9 Passive. Passive mode won't have users complete a challenge on the front end and instead works in the background and uses a score to determine what is and isn't spam. Below the behavior section will be another section called Passing Threshold. This setting lets you choose the difficulty level of the HCAPTCHA. You can choose the Auto option as this will have the difficulty level vary depending on a user's behavior on your website. Once you've finished configuring your settings, click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. You'll then be redirected to the Sites page where you'll see your site key displayed. Copy it and tab back to your WordPress site to paste it into the Site Key field, then return to your HCAPTCHA tab. The next step is to get the secret key. You may have gotten a secret key when you first signed up for your HCAPTCHA account, and if so, click on the avatar icon on the top right corner of the page and click on Settings. You should then be taken to the Secrets tab in the Settings page where you can find your secret key. You can also generate a new secret key if you like, and if so, click on the Generate New Secret Key button. Click on the Generate button when a pop-up appears, and then copy the new secret key. Tab back to your WordPress site and paste the secret key into its respective field. Below the Secret Key field is a field called Fail Message. This is the error message that will be displayed to any user that doesn't pass the CAPTCHA verification test. Below that setting is a toggle called No Conflict Mode. Sometimes CAPTCHA can be loaded more than once on your site. This is usually because either another plugin or your WordPress theme has CAPTCHA built in and is loading it at the same time as the CAPTCHA you set up in WP Forms. Unfortunately, this can sometimes cause problems and prevent it from working correctly. Enabling No Conflict Mode will remove any CAPTCHA code that isn't being loaded by WP Forms. If you need any extra help on deciding whether or not to enable this function, be sure to contact our support team. The preview section at the very bottom will show you a preview of your HCAPTCHA if everything has been set up correctly. If not, you'll see an error message in the preview field instead. Once everything has been configured, click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. The next and final step is to add HCAPTCHA to your form, so let's head into the Form Builder. There are two ways you can go about this. The first is to click on the HCAPTCHA field from the Fancy Fields menu on the left to enable it. You should then see the HCAPTCHA badge on the upper right corner of the Form Builder. Alternatively, you can go to the Settings tab on the left, click on Spam Protection and Security, and under the CAPTCHA section, click on the toggle called Enable HCAPTCHA. Like with the previous method, you should then see the HCAPTCHA badge on the top right corner of the Form Builder, letting you know that HCAPTCHA is enabled and ready to go. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use HCAPTCHA on your WordPress site. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. 
If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.